Nintendo Switch Lite. Let me show you what's going on. Very obvious problem. Owner of the device was messing around in here and they knocked off the latch. These latches are not really replaceable. Uh, they're not like some of the latch connectors where you can slide the latch back on. Uh, plastic actually breaks when these come off. So end of story on that one. Uh, we have a donor board that we will be pulling the connector off of. So first thing I need to do is disassemble this, the uh, client switch and then we'll pull this connector and pull that connector and put a new one on. Go from there. Okay, we're ready to pull this connector off before we do that. And while I set up my equipment, let me throw up our temperatures. These temperatures are brought to you by the Amazon Associate links in the description. If you click on one of those links and purchase any of that equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to benefit the channel. If you purchase anything during that session, it doesn't even have to be one of those pieces of equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. Uh, and it will not cost you an extra dime. We greatly appreciate you. Okay, so we will have to be careful. We're going to heat this from below, but there are uh, components near the connector. Now we do have a donor board, so it's not the end of the world if we knock something or knock something off. But we would prefer not to add to our workload on this job. The reason why we're hitting, heating from below is because there are plastic connectors on the top here. We don't want to burn up. Plus, when we go put the new one on, it's going to have a lid which will melt very easily. Okay, we've grabbed our donor. I am not going to use flux on the removal here because I don't want to get a whole bunch of flux in the, in the connector. I do have an ultrasonic cleaner, but and this is a donor board. Not really looking to nudge anything, but if it happens, it happens. Cool. Let's get our connector stage back on here. I worry about getting the latch up after I get at least that side tacked down. Okay, I think that's reasonably lined up. Bring the sauce. Okay, it's solid. Now I can lift the lid so we can take a look. Okay, we're 
everything on this side looks good. Let's take a look at the, this side. We may have to reflow again. Don't be too concerned if you have to do that. However, everything looks really solid. All connections are solid. Really couldn't have gone any smoother. So I will clean up off screen. And all it's left to do really is uh, test it and see. Okay, I think we're ready to test this thing. Make sure we're on the right voltage. Yes. Okay, full battery symbol. That's a good thing. And we're powering back up. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. Okay, looks like we're good. That's really going to be it for this repair. I don't really have all the parts for it. It was, came partially disassembled. I just got to get it back to the shop. Let them perform the rest of their testing. Uh, but that was the job. Uh, we had to, uh, in summary, the owner of this device opened up the device and knocked off the lid of the LCD slash daughter board uh, connector. Uh, those lids are very easy to break. Uh, if you're not very, you know, really delicate with them, so uh, pretty simple fix. We used the donor board. Uh, we pulled the connector off the donor board, uh, put it on the new, put it on the client device, and everything's good to go. So I appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate the channel support. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description below, and I'll do my best to answer them or direct you somewhere that can answer them. That's what I'll have to ask of you, and we'll see you next time.